kids club because there is absolutely nothing for them to do right now. They closed down all the pools. Uh, it was raining, so the basketball, everything's closed. So, kids club it is. And they freaking love kids club. Find your name tag, baby. So now we're just kind of waiting around making some important phone calls. I spoke with Emmy's principal right now. And Emmy's not actually the only kid that's on the ship, which we already knew. We saw her buddy um, when we first got on. She was like, Emily, where do you know that girl from? She was her buddy when Emmy was in kindergarten and her buddy was in third grade. And now her buddy's in fifth grade and Emmy's in second at the same school. So that's really awesome. So we knew she wasn't the only kid, but I just got off, the off with the principal and she said, and he said, actually there's a few kids um, that are on the ship that we've already heard from. So I told them don't anticipate her before next Tuesday. Oh my gosh, help me if we were still on the ship after next Tuesday because they're out of school Monday for Labor Day. And I'm hoping if we get back Friday or Saturday, we're able to drive in because right now, here's the thing, we're considering leaving New Orleans because we're porting there this after, late this afternoon. We can get off the ship tonight or tomorrow and disembark, disembark, yes, I think that's the word, to actually get off the ship and go home. Flights for us is like, they're like $1,500, $1,600 for us to go home. And then we would have to, like every day, they just keep getting more and more expensive. We'd have to fly to San Antonio, well, great, Uber at home or whatever, not a big deal. And then, not only that, we don't have car seats. We don't have any of our stuff from my car that we left in the car. Again, not a huge deal, just material things. We could get it later. No telling when, if we're on the ship past the weekend, when we could even get our car. Because when we look on the Apple Maps app, it doesn't, all of Houston, central Houston for us to drive home is all blocked. So to even get off the island of Galveston, I have no idea how we would even do that to get home to take our vehicle home, which means sometime next week we'd have to drive back up and get the get my car and then come back. So anyway, look at it, it's just a huge mess. And I was very sad this morning to even think of celebrating Autumn's first birthday here. I mean, I was like boohooing, and it's not the end of the world, and I get it, and I just keep trying to remind myself, like, we have a home to go home to, we're in the best situation we could be in, we're not in harm's way, we have food, water, amenities, showers, you know, I mean, really, like, we're not, I'm not trying to discount everyone else's feelings, but it does kind of stink for us too, you know, I mean, it is what it is at this point, and we're making the most of it, and I'm fine, I'm just, I was just kind of sad that we're gonna be spending Autumn's first birthday here on the ship, especially since that's not how we planned it. But again, it's just a day, it is a big day for her, but she'll never remember, and it'll be a cool story to tell later in life, I guess, saying, huh, saying you're stuck on a cruise ship for your first birthday. So, yeah, I'm just trying to make the most of the day, and I know I seem kind of Debbie Downer, and I am thinking and praying for everyone out there. It's just devastating what is going on, and everyone's thinking and praying for me, and we're actually safe, you know? Like, I have my whole unit back home, my whole um, labor and delivery unit, like, sending me messages and stuff, and I'm like, I'm fine. They're getting patients, rescued people from Houston and Corpus and all kinds of stuff, and it's just crazy, so. Anyway, we're here. I'm waiting for him to rest. He's on a phone call with the bank, and he had to call work also, because he had called them initially just for a few days, and now it's like the whole week, hey! <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we're getting to know a lot of people on the ship too, because we're all kind of in the same boat. A mosquito? Uh -huh. Oh, okay, thanks. So now we know what a nine-day cruise feels like, probably more like a 12-day cruise, what it'll feel like being out to sea for 12 days. Uh, so today, we're actually gonna be in New Orleans, but I don't think we're gonna get off. I think I'm just gonna try and start editing a little bit, maybe catch some internet, um, just some Wi-Fi or something. And what else, tomorrow, if it's not ugly outside, we're gonna try and get off and go around New Orleans just to get off the boat. I think that's what the plan is. But luckily, Emmy's school is okay. Principal is like, don't worry about it. She's fine. 
hopefully she'll be back Tuesday. I was like, I just don't want her to be truant or you know, her spot to be given up. He's like, no, no, I already know what's going on. The teacher already told me everything's fine. You know, if the teacher has makeup work, maybe she'll make up some stuff, but luckily it's the first week, fine. So that was like my a huge concern for me. I just didn't want to get in trouble for her being truant, missing a whole week and I actually don't even know what the truancy laws for a second grade are, but second grader is, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm still like worried about it. He rest assured me everything would be fine. So that was the main concern. Now we just gotta worry about little miss's first birthday, huh mom? Are you gonna be one in a few days? Are you gonna be one? Oh. We got a turtle today. I thought it was a crab actually, but on the dress it is a turtle. I don't even know what's the last thing that I did. Did I show you guys I got a lanyard? Super exciting. It has a little death five. Whatever this is called on the ship where you steer. And it's pink and it says carnival. And yeah, I don't I can't remember if I showed you guys or not because whole trip is on repeat, I swear. Went back to the room, Autumn is still taking a nap. I'm headed over to mom. Right now we are ported in New Orleans at the time. I have no idea if we're getting off tonight or not because we did get passes. They are accommodating us for free shuttle service to and from the French Quarter. And then they're also giving us free passes for a hop on, hop off, hop off bus tomorrow. So we may do that. No clue what we are doing later today though. I know that I'm hungry and I haven't really felt hungry on the entire trip because there's nothing to do but eat. Um, but we haven't had anything since breakfast. So I am hungry right now. Look everyone, what happens when you're deprived from your phone for so long. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> We made it off the ship. We're in New Orleans. We're at Walmart, again, story of our lives. Uh, we're actually getting stuff for Autumn. Some balloons and stuff for her birthday because I just know we're gonna be stuck here till Friday. So we're getting some balloons, a little birthday pin, happy birthday banner. I know, I'm so sad. <laughs> and um, right now I'm looking for a candle. I don't know, should I just get a pink? Should I just get a one? <sighs> Try not to cry. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but that is rain. Yeah, I know. So right now we're looking for something for autumn. Just for a little something. I, I mean, like I said earlier, I'm really sad. I know it's not the end of the world, but I'm really sad to be spending her birthday here. That is probably for her when she gets older. It's not even gonna make a difference and it'll probably be pretty cool to think like, oh, I spent my first birthday on a cruise. But I still wanna make it a little bit special for her. So trying to look for something for her to open on her birthday. I think I actually wanna make it special for me. <laughs> she doesn't know what's going on. So there's that, you know. Two hours later at Walmart, here's what the cart looks like. Chubby and Melissa went to the French Quarter so we have their bags, but we got uh, a little toy for Autumn, some out clearance outfits for Autumn, clearance jammy, clearance outfit, and then we got her birthday outfit. And I had a birthday outfit at home for her, but we don't have one. I also got a bib and some puffy paint in there so that I could make her a first birthday bib. We got a banner, some balloons, and some chips, um, some organic whole milk for Autumn, Pepsi, a coffee in there. Yeah, that one, some streamers, baby water, a pack of baby wipes. I think that's all we got. I got myself a camisole for sleeping. There's that puffy paint. I'll show you guys when we get back there. We ain't got nothing else to do. And it's raining really badly over here, so going to the French Quarter for us was not that exciting. <laughs> so we just thought we would, oh, the Oreos, baby, are also on Mom's. Uh, we just thought we would come to Walmart, because you know, Walmart's our favorite pastime no matter what. And then being stuck somewhere, it's nice to walk around <laughs> in a Walmart. It makes it feel familiar to us.
Okay, let's do a Walmart haul real quick <laughs> because I'm sitting in the middle of the hallway. Uh, Mom's in the room with Autumn. Super cute. She probably can hear us now. But um, so for Autumn's birthday, which you guys will see again Friday, but we got her this Minnie Mouse bag for her. We had to improvise. We had to get everything at Walmart. So it's not obviously what I would have done normally. But we got her this little Bright Stars whale. We got her this whale. We have an elephant that my mom got from Maddie and Anderson that she loves, but we lost all the balls. So we got her her own. Here. <laughs> so cute. We got her some new jammies. We got mermaid, or mermaid Ariel. Got her a little outfit. This is super cute. I actually wanted her to wear this here but it has little flowers on it. Got it in 18 months. Comes with little bloomer shorts and then a little sun hat that's reversible. So cute, that was only $5. And then we got her some PJ Mask jammies. I think these jammies were like six, seven, 687. Shine bright like a hero. She likes PJ masks. She acts like she's gonna listen. And then the outfit we got her for her birthday is this one, Heltex, and it's just like a little flowy top with some white shorts. That's what we got for her actual birthday for her to wear. And then I got a bib in the craft section for uh, to make for her first birthday, so we got that one. I got myself a camisole to wear during the night. Oh, I wonder if they wanted us to put this in her thing for her birthday. Um, Chibi and Melissa got these for her, which I actually was looking at this outfit. You know I was. Super cute outfit with little jeans. And then the shirt is just unreal. Love that one. And then a sleeper. Carter's sleeper. And this is the card we got her. And it sings. Look. <laughs> it sings happy birthday. We got her a Minnie Mouse banner, um, some organic, this is the whole milk that we're trying. Organic vitamin D whole milk. We got baby water, Pepsi for mom, bag of chips. Let's see, we got some baby wipes for mom, uh, AZO for mom, probably TMI. <laughs> some Oreos for mom. Um, we got some Cheetos, flaming a couple bags. Flaming Hot Cheetos, one bag for on the desk, two for Chibi and Melissa, and then they got some toothbrushes. I don't know, they must have run out of toothbrushes, I guess. And then we got some tissue paper for the bag. Let's see what that's all this. We got her little Flip and Seek phone, a birthday girl ribbon. All of the girls have had one of these at some point or another. Some bows, because I thought those were cute. I got the puppy paint. This was just a good deal. $15 for 20 puffy paints. That was a pretty good deal. And they had all the colors that I wanted. I mean, hello, there's every color of the rainbow. But all the colors so that I could make her first birthday bib. And then we got some streamers. But I forgot tape, so we're going to have to get that tomorrow. Uh, streamers and balloons to put on her crib, on her high chair at dinner, and over the door. Since this is mom's door, we'll hang everything up here and tissue paper, and then more streamer. And then we got some snacks, I got some airheads. This is the candy store here, it's so expensive. Some uh, sweet tart ropes, they, sell, they sold all these, and this was like a dollar at Walmart. I think it was like 450 here in the candy shop. So, it was worth it. And then I got the kids some Jolly Rancher gummies. Um, what else did I show all of this? Chips, Pepsi, yeah. So that is what we ended up getting. Oh, and then I also got a new little purse because I love my gold backpack. My gold backpack has been awesome. Kohl's, absolutely love, 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 love this. This is like super, it's been great. But I wanted something a little bit smaller for when we go into New Orleans tomorrow. Actually, would have been nice. Yeah, uh huh. Would have been nice if um, they had had this, if we had had this in Mexico. But super cute. You guys know I love it. It has slots for cards and cash, which is awesome. 
and then it has two zippers on the back and this was uh, like $9 I already had some stuff in it I had it in my purse and this is what I had been carrying which is fine it only is just a wristlet though this is more like taking to the bar and stuff this is a crossbody so yeah that is what we got at Walmart here I am <laughs> into the hallway doing a Walmart haul on a cruise ship all the kids got their feet their faces painted bunnies, bunnies? Anderson <laughs> is he on the phone Logan let me see your face. Anderson. He's on the phone. Woo! So cute. How come you didn't get your face painted? They didn't do it in their class. Oh, they didn't do it in big kids' class? Did you have fun? What'd you do? We were in the middle of giant bingo. Whoa. And Autumn, you had fun with Gamma. Did you? You're headed back to the kids' club. <laughs> oh, she found another hand sanitizer. So they have these Purell things. Oh my gosh, every single one she's found, she's got sanitizer. Yay! <laughs> gosh, if those little things made me happy. Uh, anyway, we're going back to kids' club. Chewie and Melissa got the girls from kids' club. And I made the mistake of giving Maddie my pink part of my pink lanyard when she was there earlier. And it's nowhere to be found, so we're gonna go look for it. It's all right, mommy. It's all right. What do you mean, mommy paid for that? Yeah, let's just go back to being oblivious. <laughs> oh, you thought I would get mad, huh? <laughs> Ooh, look at the blue light out here. Makes the camera look kind of cool. <laughs> look at it uh, on the camera. Yeah. Cool. See it? Whoa. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's what we're doing, and the, the moon, I see it. Emmy is eating a salad with mom. Autumn having a little snack. We're gonna head back and then go to bed. This weather's crazy. Like, 10 minutes ago it was pouring. All of a sudden, sunny. The heck, man. You got water in your shoes? And as you can see, good morning. Today is, uh, I don't even know what day, the 30th, I think. We're recycling outfits times three times. I think they've been in those dresses too. This is the second or third time. What are you gonna do at this point, right? We are on vacation day. I know you're a little bit foggy. Vacation day 11. Day 1005. <laughs> We're getting more and more, more dramatic with the days here. I can't even think. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cruise day ten, vacation day thirteen. Uh, I was supposed to work today. <laughs> Obviously, that's not happening. Uh, we are headed to the kids' club, taking the girls and the boys, the kids, to the kids' club. Hi, baby. You eat good. So cute. They're going to hang out there. We are going to. Mom's staying here. She's not feeling that great. We're going to get off the ship with Autumn. Autumn cannot stay in Camp Ocean. So we're, thank you. We're taking the kids there because it's not, the area we're going is not super appropriate. Melissa. For the kids. Mom, you're going down to three. Okay. I'm pressing three. Y'all coming? Yeah, come on. Uh, Melissa and Chibi went there last night and they said it was kind of inappropriate for the kids. So they're going to stay on the ship with mom. And we are going to go out and about exploring. This is not a bad deal. Unlimited one day is $39. We got all of them for free. So if anybody else has not a bad deal. What happens when you take a baby on a guided tour? That's all right. Huh. Well, she's actually That's quiet so now. Well, hey. She's been making noise this entire Hi. time. We were on a different bus, but that's the thing that we're taking. Sightseeing, city scene. We stopped over here by, I don't even know where, to go get a 
alcoholic slushy and bourbon street. Baby, front of the prince. This is Bourbon Street. Not exactly sure what they're doing to it. I guess just remodeling, or not even remodeling, redoing the sidewalk. I don't know. It's torn up. I won't go this way, kind of inappropriate. Good, how are you? So this is alcoholic slushies, huh? Cool. This is, let me see, what place is it? What is this place actually called? Oh, I tried Chibi. Oh, so this is what the place is actually called. Tropical Bar. Mango Daiquiri's Tropical Bar. I got strawberry mango. Really good. So we're learning quickly what, uh, Bur at least Bourbon Street, I don't know about all of New Orleans, but yeah. at least Bourbon alcohol. Street, there's nothing but strip clubs and alcohol. Strip clubs and, alcohol. Uh, and, food. and some food. Chicken. That's what we found. Pizza. We're, we're looking at, we're looking for po' boys. Haven't found one yet. Maybe there's a car. There's a car. Sorry, excuse us. But it's kind of cool. You can walk around. It's similar. To, it's very like old style, historic, French. It's pretty cool. <laughs> like old buildings. All of them are old buildings like that. I don't know if it's something that I'd want to do during like Mardi Gras. Definitely without kids. I'm so glad we didn't bring the girls. Autumn's oblivious. <laughs> Mama, you're oblivious to what's going on. But we didn't bring her stroller because situations like this, there's no way we'd get her stroller in and out of this place. It was pretty cool. How many of you guys are from New Orleans? Beads everywhere. Masks. Those cool. Those masks are cool. Look at those. You can buy the beads in a 144 pieces in a pack. That's cool. Look, we can get our birthday princess sash. Bourbon Street was just too much for the little chunks. I'll go to the rescue. <laughs> Hop on and off bus. It's really not that strong, I'm just playing. My honey bed is too good to sit with us. Huh, baby? You left me.
we're in Mardi Gras world, which apparently has every float ever made. How cool. It's eerily quiet in here. Look at that beer mug. Look at the beer mug, that one's cool. The beer mug. Elvis. Uh -huh. That's so cool. <laughs> you know we'd be loving gift shops. Yeah. Angry Birds with a daiquiri. Oh, I think I left them all in the thing. Let me see. The Chick fil A cows. See, it looks like a styrofoam or something. Crazy. Sorry, Chibi. Santa! They're showing the cows. It does look like styrofoam. Huh. It's making Pinocchio right now. Yeah. Hi, Mama. Good morning. Good morning. Looking at them? This is what Maddie made today. She has a submarine also. This, I mean, the Kids Club is just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Did you have fun today? I love you guys with my submarine. Cool, and she found the lanyard! Woo! <laughs> so I went to Emmy's side. So the Camp Ocean has three different age groups, and Emmy is in, she's a penguin. What's Emmy, what's Sissy? Um, she's a stingray? Stingray and shark. Stingrays and sharks. So I went over to check on her, and I was like, do you want us to leave you here till dinner? Because she's, they're gonna go to get uh, and I said, do you want us to leave you here until dinner? Or you want to come back and lay down? She's like, oh no, oh, I'm fine here. <laughs> like, okay. We need to go lay down, take a little nap, drink some water, rinse off because I feel disgusting. We were out all day. You're hungry? Okay, maybe we get a little something to eat. This way? Okay, I'm always turned around here. We're gonna take a little nap, okay? Well, we're getting a little snack before we go to bed, okay? Okay. Are you gonna find a snack, mommy? I'll find a snack for you. Okay. <laughs> I, I wanna choose a snack, mommy. You wanna choose a snack? Yes. Are you gonna take a nap though, right? Okay. She's like, nah. You just don't know it, but no. Thank you. 